When it comes to controller colors, Xbox has been ahead of the curve. On day one, they had both the black and the white, depending on whether you got Series X or Series S. And obviously, you can also choose to buy those controllers separately. And at launch, we also got this really cool looking blue-white combination with this uh, really nice shade of blue. And then beyond that, we got this red that also looks really nice. And more recently, they announced a lime green and this camo patterned red black mix. PlayStation, on the other hand, since day one, we've only really had one option. And that's this one right here, the black and white Stormtrooper look, which, you know, I personally really like. I have no qualms with this uh, color scheme. But, you know, it would just be nice to get additional colors and see how those look like. Well... It would seem as though we're finally getting those in the not-so-distant future. Going to the latest PlayStation blog, you'll find that Sony has announced two new colors for the DualSense, and this is what they look like, so the all-black and then this mix of red and black. And the names for those colors are Midnight Black and Cosmic Red, and there's even a trailer for it, which is 30 seconds long, so let's just check it out real quick. Should be a fairly quick watch. Obviously, with these uh, reveals, they're always very dramatic. <laughs> Gotta say, that black... That's an interesting shade of red. So, I don't know if it's just me, but this red right here reminds me a lot of the Xenoblade version of the Switch Pro Controller, this shade right here. It looks a little brighter on camera, but when I look at it in person, it's got this almost like cherry kind of color to it, if that makes sense. It's got a hint of like pink or purple in there that uh, makes it a, a different shade than the crimson red you might normally expect when you hear the word red. Right here we have a closer look at this cosmic red controller, and with that slight purplish kind of shade or purplish leaning red shade it has this kind of like silky quality to it if that makes sense I don't know I really like the look of this and then here we have the midnight black now funny enough recently I actually got these uh, all black plates from D brand this company that dared Sony to sue them jokingly on their website and the other day when I released that video showing what that looks like, I was talking about how it would be nice to have an all-black controller to match that. All that's missing now is just an all-black version of the DualSense controller. But once we get that one day, hopefully Sony is considering developing that, it's going to go super well with these plates here. And lo and behold, here it is. Did I will it into existence? I don't want to take credit for that or anything but just saying weird coincidence and yeah I really like this all black look I tend to enjoy more subtle and more minimal color combinations and the all black with the white symbols like that really does it for me and with that blue highlight just peeking through it looks really great this looks like the controller Batman would use absolutely so what do you think does it come in black? And it's not just the fact that it's black, it's just the the way the design makes it seem like it, the controller almost has wings or like a cape cloaked over it, which maybe sounds dumb, but uh, the all black with this design combination just really does it for me. It just looks really sleek and really cool and really stealthy. Now, as far as price points go, well, the black version is going to be the same price as the white version, so that's going to be $70.00. But the red, you can see right here, will actually cost a little more, $75, and I don't understand why this is $5 more than the other colors. Is it just because it's red, or I don't know, is there something about the process of turning plastic red that makes it more expensive? I don't know, but I personally don't think... A $5 increase because it's red is justified. If you ask me, $70 for controllers is already kind of expensive enough. That extra $5 is not all that appreciated, but that doesn't necessarily mean 
it's the end of the world or that people won't buy this. You know, it's a pretty attractive color for those who are into this kind of more purplish shade of red. It should also be noted that both the black and the red controller are releasing on June 11th, 2021. So a little less than a month as of the publishing of this video, not too far away. And I'll certainly get my hands on these and share my thoughts and show you a side by side of all of the different colors. But it's good to see that Sony is finally starting to release some customization options. All that's left to do now is for them to release plates that match these controller colors. Again, I did get third party black plates that will go very nicely with this controller. But Sony has yet to release their own official plates. I have little doubt that they're working on it, but it feels like they're kind of coming in late to the party with third party options already being more prominent. But I certainly foresee that in the not so distant future, Sony may very well release a black version of the plates and then this red version. No doubt we'll see even more colors and more designs and patterns and uh, limited edition plates perhaps so that we don't have to get a new console just to give it that limited edition look. We can just swap out the plates and that's kind of the the fun aspect of how they implemented the plates and the customizability there. And beyond that, the PlayStation 5 controller actually has its own plate. This black section here can actually be taken out and replaced and people have already done that with different color options from third-party sellers. And there are some interesting color combinations out there already. So you can take this red and this black and add a different plate to it if you wish to give it a different look. So I really like that implementation. I really like the fact that I don't have to buy a black version of the PlayStation 5 to get it to match my controller. I just had to swap out the plates and it worked just fine. Saved me uh, quite a bit of money. You know, people take satisfaction out of how the stuff they buy looks on their shelves and you know, it's part of the living room environment or entertainment center. So yeah, the more the merrier, I say. And it's good to see that at least Sony is getting started on that front. I just hope we'll see some plate variations sooner rather than later. Now, understandably, some people have already expressed concerns about scalpers snatching up these colors and people having to pay higher prices for the black and the red. But as far as controllers go, they don't tend to be in such high demand and low supply that scalpers can take advantage of that. Like, it's been hours since the announcement of these colors, and I can refresh this page right now, and you can still add to cart, and they're still available. So I don't foresee supply for these being super limited, not to mention that because PlayStation console supplies are limited, there is less of an audience or a customer base out there to go out and buy these controllers. You know, the current PS5 player base is sitting at somewhere between 7 and 10 million, which is still a lot, but, you know, each console comes with a controller. The demand for an extra controller is far less than actually wanting to get the console itself. So I don't foresee there's going to be a whole lot of issues with trying to snatch one of these, especially given that these are not going to be limited edition or anything. Sony's going to continue to manufacture these probably for the entirety of PS5's life cycle. Unless Sony ends up manufacturing a lot less of these than one might anticipate, you should be fine. But that aside, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much everything you need to know about these two new controller colors. I personally really like both of them. I'm probably gonna get one of each, mainly to show you guys, but also, you know, I'd actually be happy to own these colors. But let me know in the comments below what your take is on these new controllers. Do you like them? What other color options would you like to see? Would you like to see plates of these colors? And what kinds of plates are you just generally hoping for? And what sorts of customization are you generally hoping for? Share your thoughts in the comments below and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.